Quad 6.6. Six. Um, in this video, we're talking about thrust linearization. This is a feature in Betaflight that came over from Silverware that I think is useful in, in this situation here. So the situation that we have here is that this is a 1S build with those FPV cycle 1202.5 motors and flying it with the Gemfan 3018 props. And what I mean by this situation is that this is an over-prop situation where although this, this quad has a lot of nice performance features, one of the problems it has is particularly down low in the throttle into initial throttle inputs, you got some spooling up effect. The props are pretty high mass and also high load in terms of the pitch with the 3018. And with these motors, it, they just had a struggle a little bit to get that prop on boil. So when you give it a little throttle, it's a little mushy. And then when you talk about the, the PIDs, down low the PIDs aren't as high as they need to be and then up high they are too high um, because of the, because of the um, thrust curve. So one of the ways to fix that up is with thrust linearization. I did my best to try and test these back and forth going from regular to thrust linearization and I do legitimately think it helps on this quad. I don't think it's an answer across the board for the 1S micros because I also tried it on this one so this is my 1102 build with the Who Cares 65mm props and these props are much lighter mass, much lower load and on these little motors even though there's less thrust overall in this I don't think that these struggle as much spooling them up and I tried it on this build and I didn't really find much benefit so I kind of abandoned it for that build. Uh, with that said it is hard to go back and forth on this and try like different values like thrust linear 40 or thrust linear 60 and so I just went with this the basic starting recommendations which is to set it at 50 and I do think I like it on that. To kind of get into the details um, and I'm going to go through these and then I'll show you quickly. It, if you want to just jump to Betaflight and do it, it's, you just go into the command line and set thrust linear equals 50 and then you up your PIDs by about 20% and that should get you where you want to be. But for where does this come out of? So Joe Luce has this thread here with um, thrust linearization, credits Marcus Gritch from the Silverware community bring it over. And the issue that we're dealing with is that when you have your, uh, if you plot your th throttle input versus your thrust, thrust is not linear. So a straight line, a linear line would go out here. But you can see compared to where, you know, my pointer is here versus um, up there, the thrust actually curves upward. And what that results in is that your PIDs are expecting a straight line. And so if you don't um, account for this, then what happens is you've got too little PID down here, probably about right in the middle, and then up high you've got too much. In general, in the past, what we've been using is TPA and setting our TP, TPA breakpoint, so at the very high part we knock down the D, or if you select it too, you can knock down the P and D starting linearly from some point up around here, whether you set it to 1500 or wherever it is. But that doesn't really address the issues down here, and so that's where thrust linearization comes into play. So thrust linearization is basically using an equation that is the mirror image of that thrust curve. And with the idea being that if we have, say, these are our thrust curve down here, if these curve up this way and then we set an equation that is the mirror image of it, if we meld the two together, what we end up with is something that approximates a straight line. So that's the idea behind thrust linearization, whether it actually works out exactly that way or whether this is just a fudge factor that seems to kind of work. I'm not 100% sure, but the theory is there, so let's go with it, I guess, right? So now, um, jumping into Betaflight, let's hook this little guy up here. I'll show you what to actually do. So it's pretty simple. You just go down your command line, and in your command line, um, to do it, you type set thrust, and you can see it starts with autocomplete. You can grab that autocomplete, and you want to set that equal to, they recommend it starting with 50. That's what I used, and I liked it. I didn't go from there and then so once you input it there so I hit in, enter to input it and then you do save and now it actually um, executes that command and to make sure that we actually execute it and it's actually there we can check we can get thrust linear and now you can see it's set to 50. Thrust linear this command goes under master so it's not each profile individually and that's good and bad. The good of that is that once you set it there, you don't have to worry about making sure that it's on all your profiles if you're jumping back and forth between profile one, two, three. The bad news is if you're trying to compare back and forth, you can't just set one profile with thrust linear 50, one with it off, and one with that 60 and compare them. Um, so that's the downside of the way they have it set up. So once, once you've got it in there, 
then the next thing you want to go is into your PIDs and you actually want to crank these up by about 20% and I just threw my numbers into a spreadsheet and multiplied them by 20% and it actually seemed to work pretty well. Uh, I maybe tinkered with it a little bit from there but that was about it. And that's how you get your thrust and linearization. A couple other things to try to experiment with in terms of dealing with this overprop situation. One of them is throttle boost. And so here we're using throttle boost to five. I tried going up from there and I, I didn't actually like it. I didn't like going up more than that because you kind of get this weird vagueness in the throttle. It gets a little bit more touchy and bouncy and five helps. I think turning it off makes it worse, but going above five, I had some issues and so I left it at five. The other thing you can try too is what's called feed forward boost. And this one I left it at the stock 50, but so you get feed forward boost. Um, I left it at, I think what's the stock is, is 20. Um, you can potentially go up from here. And so what feed forward boost is that, so your feed forward is trying to give yourself more push. So there's some natural latency or lag in the P term. And so the feed forward tries to give you that push. So when you're starting maneuvers and I guess feed forward boost is supposed to, you know, make that boost come on or make that feed forward push come on even faster. Um, this one, however, I think shows up in a profile. So if you want to set up a bunch of profiles and I was messing with it, I didn't really feel a huge difference. So I actually left it where I think I found it, which I think was at 20. Um, what else? So yeah, so if we're talking about um, overprop builds, so if we're trying to push three inch on one S, I think, um, actually let me disconnect this so I don't leave this little guy cooking too long. So yeah, if you're if you're flying this kind of a build with these Gemfan 3018s, you got 1202, 1202.5s. Um, I recommend at least trying thrust linearization and see if it works for you. The things you're looking for is you're looking for crisper PID down low in the throttle, and you're looking for less of um, getting into too much PID up at the high throttle. So those off high throttle oscillations, you should potentially be able to knock down your TPA, maybe even get rid of it. But it is not a solution across the board. I did not find it to work on this 65 millimeter build with the Who Cares props. I feel like these motors can control these props just fine and so I left it off because I'm kind of inclined to not break stuff if you don't, like if it doesn't improve it, I leave it off. But I think in this case it does. So that's thrust linearization, 3 inch 1S builds, I think it's something you definitely want to look into. Um, see if you like it. It may make sense also if you're trying to do run like uh, tri blades, like 25 uh, or 2045s on on like low, uh, 1102 motors or something like that. May help you out there too. All right. Until um, next time. Cheers.